In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to tether your Canon EOS R5 to Lightroom. This seems to happen a lot whenever people get new cameras, they have difficulty using them with their old software. And so I heard from someone recently in a comment that he was having trouble tethering his R5 to Lightroom. And so I have a solution today that will let you uh, get your images in the program live while you're shooting. So if you've ever gone into Lightroom and gone up to file and come down to tethered capture, and hit start tethered capture, you end up with this spinning beach ball of death. So you definitely don't wanna do that. So what you wanna do is you wanna go up to file and then you wanna come down to auto import and then auto import settings. Then make sure that enable auto import is checked. You're gonna change your watch folder to the place where you're going to write your pictures. So we're just gonna come down here. Well, I have this folder called retouching demo. And I'm gonna make a new folder and I'm gonna call it Write Photos Here. It's important that you set up a new folder that's completely empty in this step, otherwise it's not going to work. Then you're going to set your destination. So by default, it makes you move the file around, which I hate this part, but you have to do it. It seems unnecessary, really. So we're gonna go ahead and click on Choose here. And we're gonna change that to a new folder that we're going to call move photos here and hit create and then hit choose. Then it's going to make a subfolder. It's just by default auto imported photos and that's fine. Uh, the file name, you can set that up how you want. The develop settings, how you can set that up how you want. The metadata, etc. Just go ahead and click OK. Now, we need to use another bit of software and that's called EOS Utility. And that's what we're gonna to use to talk to the camera. So go ahead and click on EOS Utility here after I've already installed it. So I've got it um, down here in the toolbar and we're just gonna click on Remote Shooting. And now what we wanna do is set the destination. So right here on the top right, click on this folder and then you wanna click on Browse and now you wanna to go to that folder that we called Write Photos Here and click Open. You wanna make sure that this Create a Subfolder box is in checked, otherwise Lightroom will never see the pictures. So go ahead and click OK. Now, next most important thing is you wanna click on this icon right here that shows the laptop and the camera. And that brings up a dialog called the Image Shooting Location. You can select to have the photos right to the computer only. Then the next choice here is called computer and camera memory card. And below that is a sub choice that says that in raw and JPEG mode, it will only send the JPEGs over to the computer. But I'm going to assume that since we're in Lightroom, we're going to want the raw files over here. So I'm not gonna tick that box. I'm just gonna tick the box that says computer and camera memory card. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. So we'll just go ahead and take a picture here. And then we'll click over to Lightroom. And if you look over here on the left, you'll see a folder called Move Photos Here. And in there is a subfolder called Auto Imported Folder. And if we double click on it, you'll see this beautiful photo of my laptop. Isn't that great? So if you press the G key, it'll go back to the grid. If you go back to your camera, you can go ahead and take a bunch of photos. And as you can see, they'll show right up in Lightroom. If you guys have any questions or comments, just leave those below. And as always, stay safe, take care, and I'll talk to you soon.